Hi, I'm Tin Chao Zhou, the one who derived the median effect equation and introduced the median effect plot for general dose effect analysis. Uh, this theory has recently been called the unified theory of the mass action law. I'm also the co-developer of the combination index theorem for drug combination with uh, Professor Paul Talale of Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. As is well known, drug combination has been widely used in treating most dreadful disease such as cancer and AIDS. However, many researchers, when they conduct their drug combination study, did not do it right or did not interpret the data correctly. So I'm going to present the method and theory uh, of my method. Uh, let's see. Last year, AACR meeting in San Diego, I gave a mini symposium on drug combination. This year, ACR meeting in Denver, I'm going to present a poster also talking about drug combination as shown here. The method of Joe and Talare has been widely cited so far, 1,820 in 381 different biomedical journals. Today, I'm not going to spend too much time going through all the theories, but uh, here you can find the theory as well as the uh, application, the sample data analysis. These are major references with uh, examples. One is the is, uh, advanced enzyme regulation I just mentioned. The second one is JNCI paper, which is highlighted with editorial, which give uh, crude data for two and three drug combination. I may give this later as an example for presentation. Pharmacology Review article published in 2006 is my lifetime theoretical work, 35 years of work. Uh, it uh, covers every aspect of drug combination studies. And the computer software, Computing, is the third generation uh, software. The first generation published quite over 20 years ago, written by my son, Joseph. And the later, the second generation published as a Calcusine, written by uh, Michael Hebel of Cambridge, England. The third generation uh, computer software called Computing, which is written by Nick Martin of MIT. This just published recently. And recently I published a review article in clinical journal Leukemia and uh, Lymphoma, which is abbreviated review, also give examples. The Computing uh, is uh, not only for drug combination, but also for general dose fake analysis, such as determination of IC50, ED50, LD50, and so on. Here are the, the website and uh, can get more information. The experimental design is the simplest way, simplest way for two drug combination, drug one and drug two, uh, from preliminary data or from literature, you get approximate IC50 or ED50 and use those range below and above it for, for drug two also. So the those range will cover a uh, broad uh, spectrum, will not be screwed like uh, inhibit only 20, 30 percent or inhibit 90, 95, 99 percent like that. My recommendation is a constant ratio experimental design, which uh, you make a mixture of drug one and drug two, make a mixture 
at high concentration and serial dilute. So no matter how you dilute its constant ratio, because it's a mixture. And also, uh, one, one uh, recommendation is uh, usually you don't delete the data in the middle, which is not right to do that. But to the extreme, if the dose range is too high, it's not accurate to measure, you can delete the data point. Or if too low, is below your sensitivity of detection, you can also delete the data. Uh, it does not need to be always a particular ratio or particular ranges, only the most reasonable recommendation because when you have ED50 ratio, uh, the contribution of each drug to, to the mixture is about equal. So, uh, and another thing is, recommendation is do this single drug alone and the combination in a single day or a single experiment. Because uh, if you do one, one part today, another part next week, the everything is not not identical. So everything needs to be compared and the, the identical condition. So drug one, dose factor, drug two, and combination uh, should be done at the same time. You don't need to be always two-fold dilution. This is the common, common serial dilution in pharmacology is two-fold dilution. And also the combination ratio this only recommendation or ED50 ratio, but you can do any other ratio if you want, if you have special reason to do it. And also you can do, if you have time, and uh, you can do Latin square or checkerboard. So you have different ratio uh, combinations. So, so there's a lot of flexibility. Here I have, uh, one, two, three, five concentration. It depends on the assay. Uh, you usually do the duplicate, and usually you can have six, seven concentration if you want. Uh, if the data would be even better. And usually we do duplicate, even sometimes triplicate, to gain the, and enter the average data to the computer. So now I'm going to uh, going to another aspect, I shrink it.